Welcome okay. everyone to our Sunday session of Pine Soups. And this one's an extra special session because we're gonna celebrate the uh, Year of the Dragon, which just began last weekend. Um, mm. And I think you celebrate for maybe most of the month. Is that right? For Chinese New Year, do you celebrate for almost the whole month? Uh, Chinese New Year, we usually celebrate um, about a half month. Half a month. Yeah. All right. And Actually, they have like you know, um, um, New Year, at, you know, uh, the big one and small one. Small New Year, they call it uh, lantern celebration. They say but, what? Uh, lan lantern. Lantern. Yes. Ah. They said a lantern. Yeah, I've seen lantern festivals. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, terrific. So, so for kind soups, as you know, if um, people have are new to kind soups, we cook a, a large pot of soup every week, and we um, on Mondays from five to six, the the recipe changes and is available on the website, and we feed our own family's dinner for that night or ourselves, and then we put the rest in one quart containers. And we have labels so that the people receiving it know that it's a project that is coordinated, that we pay good attention to the health restrictions, um, and that what we're giving them is made with love and is very nutritious. So today, we are so lucky that we're being led by Stacy Lin, who's going to teach us a little bit about the Chinese New Year and a whole lot about how to make a really easy and delicious wonton soup for the Chinese New Year. Stacy, thank you so much and welcome. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Um, I'm going to show, you know, uh, for the Chinese New Year, or uh, uh, making the bonbon, the ingredient. Yeah, you can see, we have, because today I'm going to have only one, I can show you how to do it. So this is uh, a uh, wonton soup, yeah, uh, wonton soup wrapper, okay? And then uh, pork, yeah, okay? And uh, this is a, a vegetable, nepa cabbage, I'm going to Napa use. cabbage, okay. Okay, and the some of the green, uh, green onion. Yeah, green onions. Yeah, happy yep. one, and uh, also uh, cilantro. Okay, cilantro, beautiful. Okay, all right. So, um, first, I'm going to show you. You can just get a ground store, maybe easier. Just get a ground pork. Yep. Okay. But since I already have this pork in my, you know, in my freezer, so I just use. I'm just boneless I'm, pork, and you're putting it in a food processor so you have get ground pork. Right, right. Yes, right. we go to the food processor today. Okay. Okay, so we already have you know, ground it pretty good. All right. So now, okay. The vegetable I'm using today is the cabbage, okay, and the cilantro. Okay, we're going to put in the cabbage and the cilantro. Right, but you know, for the for the cabbage, we need to broil, cook with water. Okay. Okay. You're going about, to blanch it real fast in hot water. Yeah. For well, about maybe one minute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Stacy, I tried this um, a couple weeks ago with the bok choy and I didn't blanch it first. What would be the difference? Does it get a little bit more flavor or is the texture better with the blanching? You. So um, since you're, since you're, when you're cooking the raw wonton, you're only cooking it for like um, a few minutes. Ah. So blanch it, it's, you know, the vegetable is going to be a little bit undercooked yeah. compared to ground pork. Thank you so much. That helps. And uh, if, if you don't really, you know, uh, go through the water, you just put it into raw vegetable in. At that time, vegetable will produce all the water coming out. Ah, it helps take the water out of the vegetable and it, it cooks it a little more so that it's, um, it doesn't need to cook in the soup for long. Thank you so much. Okay. So can you see how I cook now? I just put yes. it in. Yes. Uh, wait, the other day, you know, uh, broil, then we can take out. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you know, I'd like to show you how to, you know, how we make in the ingredients. Okay. In the beginning, when they asked me to do it, I, I thought, it, well, for some soup, everybody know how to do it. Yeah, I thought, well, you know, if it's three years old, they know how to do it. But then after I did some research, I found out it's different. Everybody can do it, but uh, how good they come out can make a lot of difference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's some some kind of tip. Yeah, we need it to know. Yep. We need all the tips we can get. <laughs> right. Okay. But actually, it's you know it's just something fun. Yes. Yep. Very easy. Yes. Okay. This is not really deep, you know, too strong. You just want to make sure, you know, make it even softer. You want those white ends to be a little soft? Is that what we're waiting uh, for? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to make sure the white part, you know, I really get softer, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's enough now, yes. Okay. Then, then I'm going to rinse under the water. Yeah. Make them cool down. Okay. Right. So cool it down under cold water. Yeah, cool down so I can squeeze out the extra water, the juice. Okay. So can you see how, how I do it? Yeah. Yep, just squeeze out the water. Yes. All right. Okay. It's still hot, you know, that's why you need to do it. Do it, you know, under the cold water. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, today. I'm only doing like you know one pound, one pound of the pork. Okay? okay, I think the recipe are calling more than one pound. Yeah. And Stacy, if people wanted to cook a vegetarian version, um, yeah. will it have enough flavor just leaving out the pork, or would you suggest adding something else instead of the pork? Uh, yes, I think you can just put a, any kind of spice you like, but I would say you have to put a, some broth in, chicken broth, something, uh -huh. okay, yes. and uh, then do any kind of, like a salt, pepper, and uh, some soy sauce. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, the same yeah. things, whether you use pork or not, still use um, sauce yeah, and yeah, same oil. thing. But if you like some other kind of flavor, you know, yeah, you can put it in too. Some kind, like me, a lot of time I would like to have, uh, I like to have Japanese, you know, soup base, like hong dashi. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, how they look like. Terrific. Yeah, this one. Ah, what does that say? Um, uh, that's our whole Japanese soup when they're making soup. Yeah. Okay. So this inside they have some kind of seaweed. It's a natural uh, sweetness. Yes. Ah, seaweed is yeah. a natural season uh, seasoning. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Yes, and uh, you know, I, these are more like a um, more some in the restaurant they use some kind of accent to make you know taste better. Yes, but. You for me, I like to use this kind too. Okay. okay. And then because you had no meat, so you had to put some 
you need to, to put some of the um, flavors. Um, maybe like a cornstarch. They kind of start to make it oh. stick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And which Asian market do you all like the best near Rockville? Oh, in Rockville. I see 99 market is good. Yeah. 99 market? Yeah, 99 market is yeah, it's oh, 99, yeah. Ranch. 99 ranch. Yeah, 99 ranch. Yeah. Ah, I don't even know it. Where is that, Andrew? That's in, that's in Gaithersburg. Oh, okay. Up by H Mart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm putting some uh cilantro, okay? Yeah, you don't want to put too much. I think some if people they don't want they they only using cilantro. So it's okay, but uh, they, and they don't have to uh, broil. Just roll, roll one. Okay. Just okay. Roll. Okay. And then we're going to put some paste in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, where did I put my? Okay. I couldn't, sorry, I can never find my teaspoon. So I'm putting- I can't up. find my sesame oil. We're tied. This is my, my palm. Yeah, I usually cook by, you know, to know about how much salt I'm going to put in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, then some soy sauce. Yes. Okay. So this one, just like a tablespoon. Okay. Two tablespoons. Right? About the two tablespoons, yes. Okay. And uh, some sesame oil. Yes. Yeah. Sesame oil. Usually, when you're making wonton or dumpling, this is the ingredient they're using a lot. Okay. I would say I'll try to make it into like a, you know, two tablespoons. What's this in oil? Okay, two tablespoons okay. of sesame yeah. oil. Yes. Okay. Now, most of the Chinese cooking, they you know they they like to put a uh, sesame oil. Yeah. Yeah. This is our favorite. Everybody loves it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the then, then some of this uh, paper. Just sprinkle some, yes. Okay. Some wine. If they don't have wine, you can they can use chicken broth. Yeah. Just you not know, making them um making it more more moisture. Yes. Okay. Right. Do you want to add something for moisture? And you prefer wine, but if people don't want to use wine, they could use a broth, a chicken broth or a mushroom broth or whatever. Yeah. Something to yeah. keep it moist. Okay, great. Yeah. That's right. We put this because we want to make them, you know, uh, moisture. Yes. Yeah. Let me see how, how it's come out. Yes. Can you see how, how they come out? Oh, it's like yeah. a, the paste. Yeah, oh. really mushy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. I would just know. All right. So now I'm going to. You know, we don't want to open this wrapper too early, okay? We open until now, you can get a season, yes. Okay, so the idea is to keep those wet. So don't open them until you're ready to start filling them, right? Right, right, yes. Okay. And you are very smart. You know how to do <laughs> everything already. Yeah, great. 
So even after you open, you don't want to take, take off everything, okay? You want to kind of, you know, stay, let them stay inside. Inside so the wrap as much as possible. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's why I keep the moisture, yes. Okay, because, you know, I'm going to, to try, make a sample to cook, okay? We we'll see how the paste come out. Okay. Uh, give me some water. Okay. Okay. What did yours taste like when you tasted it? Just to, I, I just, you know, try to eat, see how. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You mean after you cook the first sample, right? Yeah. You taste yeah. It. Yes, that's right. So this is the first sample I'm going to do. Okay. Yes. So mom, you're gonna you're gonna explain this again later on, right? Yes, I'm going to show you how to, how to do it again. Okay. Actually, most of the wonton are making this way. Okay. That is so cute. Yes. Okay. That's our original because you want uh, the wrapper very thin to show. You don't want they are all stick together. If okay. they all stick together, it will become thinner, uh, thicker. You don't want to thick. Yes. Okay. So this one. I'm going to cook a couple, so see, you know, see how, how this So you're not going. putting any water on any of the edges yet. You just put a no, little bit no, of food in the middle. Right, put the meat in the middle. I just put water around the meat. All around the meat. And then- He's gonna go through this again in more detail later yeah. on. Okay. okay. Just, then you fold together, okay? Stick together. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then just a squeeze. Yes. You're going to okay. show this again later on. Right? Yes. Yeah. Again I'm going to show it again that and again. I'm trying to do it with her. Yes. Oh, you are doing that too? This I'm is just to throw, to. this is just to put together a few samples for cooking. Okay. So now I'm going to just cook. Okay. Yes. So when you cook, you can just, you know, um, press down a little bit, making more fresh will be easier to cook. Yeah. Okay. So we cook about a, uh, two minutes. And you're just cooking them in water? Yes. Because I'm going to just, you know, try to taste, see how this come out. Yes. That's already at a boil right now. Yes. Yes, that's boiling Yes. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I didn't wait to do it with her. I did it on my own and mine is very sad. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely need the later instructions. That didn't quite work. <laughs> so how, how was the U.S. come out this last time? Can you see it? It looks very oh, not, then, not, of, not official, but it's okay. Yeah. You know, we try to make uh, something into, I think that is a picture doing. Yeah. But yeah. because the Hong Kong skin wrapper is very thin, yeah. it's hard to make into, you know, that kind of shape. If we make other kind of shape, uh, the edge had to stick together. So that's going to make it into really thick. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I, I don't like uh, the one to be thick. Too I like thick. to yeah, stay very thin. Yeah. Okay, we want to keep them thin. Yes. Wonton always my, you know, my, my flavor. I always like, uh, you know, wonton, but I like to have thinner skin, yes, okay. The one I'm the one I'm using the skin they, they call it it's actual thin skin. Yeah. This is writing in Chinese. Oh, it's a thin uh, one. Skin. Uh, see if mine yes. says that. Uh, oh. no, mine just says traditional since 1905. Oh yes. You saw it, huh? Yeah. But it's the golden dragon. You think that'd be a great one to use this year. <laughs> and uh, for everyone in interested, it says Karev and Halal. We're, we got oh, all the bases covered on this one. Brain. Oh, the brain? You know, any kind of brain needs fine. Yeah. I don't know why they are. Yeah. I think they have uh, kind of have all different kinds of brain, a uh, different kind of style. Um, yeah. Uh, when, when I go go to the store, they have, have Hong Kong style and the Shanghai style. What are the diff what's the difference between the two? And uh, you can see Hong Kong style. They, they appear like a yellow color, okay? 
and uh, um, Shanghai, they are more like a nature, yeah, wow. just like regular flower patterns. Are those so yellow I, ones made with egg? Yes, that's what, it, yeah. I believe they must be put with egg. Okay. So if you put an egg in properly, it will be more you know, um, a chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Properly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now, this one is done. They're beautiful. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes. Beautiful. Look at that. I want oh, to use the technique. This is a one tongue, you know, we usually make that. Uh, just, you know, like this way. Okay. So we're going to see how, how is the taste. Yes. Okay. So I'm actually using the water that I um, blanched the cilantro in. I didn't, I didn't dump it. So it's, uh, it's hot already. And I'm just going to put the dumplings back in that same water. Well, that should be good, right, Stacey? Yeah, I think, yeah, right? Yeah. I don't think there's any reason not to. I think yes. it would add I, I think that's good, too, yes. Yeah, she okay. said, yeah. Perfect. Good idea, Lisa. Yes. That's good. Let's try it. I think it's pretty good. You want to try? Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this tastes perfect to me. Ah, very good. Okay. So we can start making that. Okay. And you know that they're done when they float to the top. Is that right, Stacy? Is that how we know? Oh, what, what, what did you say? I'm how sorry. do you know it's done cooking? Does it float when it's done is cooking? It, is it the dumplings float to the top when they're done? I uh, yeah, most time dumplings are like that way. Okay, but one chunk we only put a very little meat inside, and this already has a vegetable in. So like the way I'm, you know, the way I'm making put in a. Are only like a half teaspoon okay. ingredient. So it's only take about two couple of minutes, like two or three minutes. Okay. So you yeah. can do it by time. It doesn't float to the top when it's done. Even if you have a uh, you have when you cook it more, you have more water. Okay. Yeah. In that case, I only put a little bit of water. Okay. okay. You have more water, then they they should be float to the top. Oh, they will. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So now um, everybody wants to try to do it, yes, okay. But it's the way, you know, when you have family, do it together, yes, okay. Everybody next time, yes. And I want to show you how to do it too, yeah. Um, for my family, when they keep doing that, they usually, they are always doing it, yes. Okay, I don't like to make some of the kids good, yes. I don't really mind, you just have fun, yes, okay. All right. So we can make it now. Um, I think um, I'm going to show you the one. This is, this is the one you know, we frozen a week ago. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And um, I using the container from supermarket. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You can just use any, any, any container. Yeah, any container. Yeah. But if you have, you know, this kind of container, you can just get the heater. Yeah. Okay. You, they can just throw away all they can reuse. Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, frozen one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So today, because I'm running out of this kind of container, so I'm using um, uh, my, uh, like Tupperware That's plastic or something, right? Okay. Yeah, just use this also. Yeah, easier. Yeah. Okay. I think that you you froze in some too, huh? You I did. I did. I just put them in the container. I'll show you. I'll show you. You want to show people how 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 it works too? Yeah. Yeah. They're not beautiful, but this is what when I tried them. Okay. Good. I saw you use. If we use this kind of container, we can just give to people, you know, you don't have to yeah, take them back. Yeah, these are the ones I made. They're kind of um, envelope shaped. Um, and I just put them on wax paper and separated them and put layers down. Oh, so the reason it. you guys that were, oh, here they are. Yeah, okay, let me see it. Yeah. 
Part, parchment paper also works. Yes. 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 That's right. Yes. So, um, when, everybody, the reason that what we're um, going to tell you now about freezing them is Stacy says that they they'll fall apart if you try to like we traditionally do put them in the soup and just freeze it. So the idea is possibly if you have the energy for this, you're going to fill up your um, soup container with maybe about that much broth and freeze it. Then you can put down a layer of wontons, either separated with a little wax paper or just put it on top of the frozen um, broth and then freeze that. So what you'll be delivering is, you know, five or so wontons and then, uh, you know, three quarters of a quart of soup. Deb, should we be freezing the wontons first then also putting them on like a cookie sheet to freeze them first sure, before we put ideal. them in? But, you know, okay. I think as long as your soup is mostly cold, it'll freeze together. So, okay. Yeah. All I right. Think thanks. Either way. So that's, that's Stacy's um, best idea is to deliver the wontons on top of the frozen broth, but all together. I love that idea. That's what we'll do. Okay, everyone. That's why they, they already have the soup here and uh, then they can cook, you know, by themselves. Hold on. You guys are getting way ahead of us. Okay. Uh, no, so, Mom, we, we finish, just finish this one and then start over with okay. one. Yeah, you know, I put about a half teaspoon meat inside. Okay. You don't want to put too much. Yeah. Okay. okay. If we put too much, it will be hard. Then I will just pour it together, okay? Because I've already put some water around the meat, okay? So you stick here together, then you just, you know, squeeze. So wait a minute. So you have, a, the t you put the two triangle corners together. And then yes. show us that squeeze technique. Right now I've got the triangle on top touching the two sides. And Hold the two sides in. in. So yes. I, I have the meat and then I, I use water to wet around the meat. Yeah. And put water on two corners. Okay. It, I stick the corners together and then I just scrunch it up. Oh. That, that's the way, you know. Because I usually don't like to do that way, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> because that will make uh, the skin thicker. Yeah, okay. Uh, for the one tongue, I don't I don't like to have the edge together. Yeah, ah. Only like in the middle, okay? In the middle part, just around. So the edge is still able to open when, after you cook, okay? Then because all this side, you already have water inside, okay? So all you have to do just, you know, stick them together, then squeeze. And then squeeze, wow. Yeah. Then squeeze, okay? Then they will be come out like this. Yes. Huh. Okay. Yeah. But you know, Jackie's way is okay. You, you don't mind. You know, you can eat, you can eat double skin at it, one it time. The yeah. Same. The skin is so thin. <laughs> I know, but I want to learn that smushy way. That's so cute. <laughs> yes. Okay. So anyway, they. Yeah. We'll do another one slowly. Okay. So. Now, oh, anybody talk? Oh. Marge, we couldn't hear you. I have a barking dog. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The dog try to drink too. Huh? Yeah. Okay, Stacey, so I'm just curious how much um, meat. Uh, so I guess I'll mention to other people I used the full pound of pork like our recipe had, and I felt like the wontons didn't have enough flavor at all. So I'm now adding everything again, like a half a dose more of everything. Uh, I don't know if other people are going to feel that way, but I used the full pound and then a whole bunch of cilantro and it wasn't oh, flavorful enough. Yeah, so then you, you may need to put more taste, like the soy sauce and salt. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, today I'm going to show you how to do it. So I only use one pound, okay? So when I use one pound, I use two tablespoons uh, soy sauce and about a about uh, less than one teaspoon salt, okay? So I think that's uh, salty enough for me. Yeah, everybody have different kind of taste, yeah. And uh, uh, I usually don't want to you know, make too salty, yes, okay? So if you feel your, your taste not enough, then just add more, more your flavor, yeah. And you could so, always add sauce while you're eating it too, so. Yes, yeah, I think it's better to have not enough later on, so you can put more, yes. Okay. It's better than too salty, yes. Okay, yeah, she'll be okay. You I know, apologize, I'm back. The dog is locked up downstairs. My neighbor oh, lost no. his cat and is walking through the yards looking for the cat. Oh, so that oh, is oh. crazy. Okay, <laughs> yes. mushrooms. Okay. I want to add mushrooms to the broth. 
Do you think oh. I have to cook them in advance? Oh, that's good. Yeah. If you you put a mushroom into the broth, but you have to make sure when they uh, when the water become boiled, you have to <laughs> open open the lid, no lid cover. Otherwise, the broth may become dark because have mushroom inside. Ah. Yes. Okay. And uh, uh, usually when I making wonton, um, mm -hmm. when I cooking with broth or the soup, I usually like to put some green. I chop up some green vegetable inside. Like uh, sometimes if you don't have green vegetable, you put some green onion. Okay. Yeah. On, if don't you, yeah. you boil the wonton separately from the broth? Yeah. We could do it, yeah. Okay, so, and uh, if if I don't using uh beside using the green onion, my favorite one just using spinach. Oh, you now you chop up some, yes. Okay. Because, you know after you you bro you put some spinach in they they will be cooked right away very quick yes yeah then you got a vegetable inside too yeah when I when I you know when, yeah in my my favorite is have you know either more. Um, as much as a vegetable possible, yeah. Okay. So if you don't have spinach, you then you can use in cabbage. You know any kind of cabbage, even regular cabbage. But you need to cut it into very thin. Yeah. Okay. So this is a way. You know, you put some water around. Then just you know one side stick together. You know this side put yeah. together. Then over here you can just sort like a squeeze in. Yeah. Okay. So that's where it become. It's so pretty. Way. Mine's kind of yeah. ripping a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe if the skin too dry or something. Yeah. If the skin become become dry, then it will be easy to rip off. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's why I say you know you should, you you still try to keep inside your yeah. okay. package. Okay. If you feel your skin, you know. Start to dry. You need to use some. I will put some, some thing paper towel on the top to cover. A little bit of a wet paper towel, because I yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yes, to cover. You, you don't want them to come dry. Yeah. Okay. Now you know you put water around. Okay. Then this side and this side they all have water. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. stick together then squeeze. Okay. Then over here, you can see the water over here too. They all have water. So all you have to do just, you know, pour together, then squeeze in. Yeah. Okay. That's a way. Of it. Okay. Yes. All right. Not, not too hard, right? So how, how are you guys doing? Everybody doing good? Yeah. And okay. Everybody doing better than I am? I'm doing okay, but <laughs> I want okay, to see you. Okay. You want to show us your ass how you're doing? Yeah, although my it's the squeeze part that's this is what I just did. It doesn't have that cute little Percy feel that yours does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Although this one I think no, that one didn't. Yeah. Oh, here's the Oh. Okay. Right? What do you think? Oh, they just come out of pretty good. Yes. Kind of cute, right? Yes, cute. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we just have, you know, have fun, yeah. Yeah, how about everybody else? You guys trying this or what's happening? Lisa, how's yours coming out? Yeah, Easy. yeah mine, um, mine's coming okay. I'm adding a little more seasoning still. I still feel like it needs more, yep. but um, but doing okay. Um, one question, and I know it's going ahead a little bit, but I was surprised that the broth is just water-based. It's not like a chicken or a vegetable. Um, Based is that right? It's just water and uh, sesame oil and white pepper. Uh, that right? Yes, that, that's the way I'm going to show you today. But for most people, maybe easier just use chicken chicken broth. It's okay. Yeah, because you know, for me, because it's, it's really depend on your taste. I like to have everything lighter. Okay, I don't want to have this stuff. And uh, for me, I feel uh, one pound already have meat inside. Okay. They already have meat, so I don't really care if I'm going to be using, you know, more broth. And if by if using broth will be bring you more nutrition, yeah, for sure, yeah, okay. But people want to use broth, I think it's good too, yes, depending on your taste, yeah. But I think will be 
So be nice if I show you how do I make my own you know, soup. Yeah. So that's good. if you run out of grass, you can just using you no know, using water to make soup. Yeah. And we eat and, and we'll eat lighter that way. Right. Yes. Okay. And uh, if you want to, then that's why you can put more, you know, uh, other vegetable too. Yes. Okay. So but even with the light way that you're making, you would add the vegetables, yeah? Uh, yes, that, okay. that's the way you know, I usually do, yeah. Okay. You can put any kind of you know, a green vegetable, yes. Yeah. When I'm making, yeah. when I'm making a vegetable, I usually, uh, when I put a vegetable, like I say, I put a spinach and uh, maybe cabbage and uh, Sometimes I put, you know, um, I think uh, cilantro is a good choice also. Yes. Okay. Putting more flavor too. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. You have good students there. Look at that beautiful plate of dumplings or wontons. So yes. what kind is it? Are you doing good? Yes. Yeah. Your, okay. your, your family is fantastic. Oh, thank you. I think everybody going to turn out. Yeah. Don't, don't put yeah. Okay. So this is the way. Yeah. After we can just know, I'll just put some same plastic cover. Yeah. Oh, Stacy. Yes. Look at this. I think it worked. Oh, great, beautiful. Is that, the, is that the scrunch method? I think so. Yes, yes, very good, yes. Excellent. Beautiful. I think everybody can do it the same way. Can, can, can you show us yeah. how you do it? Wow, yeah, that's wonderful too, yes. That's great. Well, we got a very good student here. <laughs> well, we have a good teacher. Yeah, thank you, yes. Great, everybody have fun, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, I just want to show you, yeah, okay, this is way I put it into, you know, freezer, yeah. So you really filled that up. I thought I needed to leave them some room to separate it, but you really put them right next to each other, wrap them up in plastic and freeze them. Yes. Because, you know, uh, and, and we freeze them before they're cooked then? I missed that. We're freezing them before they're cooked? Uh, no. Freezing, uh, yeah, for the cook, right. Before okay. cooked, yeah. That's... Before, before you, you want to eat, you can cook, yeah. No, we're, we're supposed to boil the wontons first, right? Uh, see, to... yeah, Deb, I, like going for to, how... We're... I'm going to show you how to make a soup and uh, cook it, okay? Because this one, I'm going to show you how to freeze first. Then we still have more, so I'm going to show you how to make a soup and then cook the whole. Yeah. She, she's, how, how long do you boil the wonton for in the water? Uh, I would say for this kind of size, about a two or three minutes okay. after the water boil. Yeah, you cook for two or three minutes. It's very okay. Oh, let's see. Do you need more water, Mom? Yeah, I'm going to use it in this pot. Deb, um, I'm thinking, and then this is what I just want to understand, for the way that we're, for the do since for the donation, it feels like we should boil them first and then freeze them. I think we're going to, um, I think Stacy's suggesting that we freeze them and put them on top and say, cook for two, th two or three minutes as you heat up your soup. But let's wait till we get to the end and we'll make a group decision. How's that? Yeah. You know, if- uh, Okay, I guess the only question is now we shouldn't be putting them in boiling water then until we decide. I think that's right. Stacy. Okay. Stacy. I think what, we, what we've come up with, right, is you want us to make our um, wontons and freeze them, not yes. cook them unless we're gonna eat them tonight and then have on our soup containers something that says, heat up your soup and then cook the wontons for two or three minutes in your hot soup. Right. We, we need to, if, if we do that, we need to point out that there's raw meat in it. Right. There yeah. are. But, yeah, yeah. Right, but, but, but that uh, on any label that there's raw meat. 
Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to put anything in the chat, Cheryl, that would be great about the language. Okay. Uh, okay. If, you know, after you frozen the Hong Kong, yeah. you, need, you put a frozen one into the uh, broil water soup, you need to cook longer time, about, about five minutes. Oh, five minutes. In the yeah, if they come out frozen, okay? okay. Unless you let them put in the room temperature, okay? Okay. After they defrost, you cook, then you can cook maybe so only- cook your frozen wontons for five minutes and put it yeah. in your mm -hmm. soup. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think Jake, you want to- Jake, you want to explain more. So yeah, I, think, I think the big confusion is um, why we should keep the wontons raw because normally if you have pasta sitting in soup, in, you know, sitting in water uh, and put it in the fridge, the, the pasta's gonna get all soggy. Yeah. It's gonna be the same with the wonton skin. Okay. Um, so it's best to make the wontons, freeze it, and then um, whoever gets the soup, they would, um, you know, heat up the soup and you can, um, well, my mother-in-law usually cooks the frozen wonton or the fresh wonton in a separate pot okay. of water before adding it to the soup. Okay. So the fresh wonton, the, the raw wonton skin would just taste better mm -hmm. if you, you know, if you cook it and you eat it right away. Okay. So cook it in water, put it in your bowl, heat up your soup and pour the broth right on, on your wonton. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's already quarter out. This time is flying by. Yes, I'm going to show you, you know, how, how I make the soup, okay? Okay, yep. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, uh, cilantro into the soup, okay? okay. Yeah. All right, so chopped cilantro and water so far. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, just we have to make sure the pot are dry, okay? No water inside. You just cook in the cilantro by itself, right, Mom? Uh no not yet. No. Okay. Yes, wait. Okay, put some oil in. Okay. And uh, I'm going to put some green onion, chopped. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice green onion. Yeah. Okay. So you can see. So I'm going to just now uh, saute the, uh, the green onion first. Yes. So how is everybody said so one time come out? I, I, I saw you know, some of you come out pretty good, yeah. Anybody else want to show off their wontons? Terry, how's yours looking? Denise? I am taking mental notes. I'm not cooking okay. along today. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. Terry, you're muted. I'm using frozen wontons. Oh, <laughs> you did get them. Can we see them? I got them. Yeah, I'll get package. Okay. Stacy, don't look. Okay. Can you see? Yes. You know, I, I put a little bit 
you know, when they're getting hot, I put a little bit soy sauce in. Okay. So, so you started out with olive oil and uh, green onions, yes. then you added a little soy sauce and now water, yeah? Yes, not water, right. Yes. Okay. So I did wait for them to yeah. Uh, Those look just like mine, Terry. Do they? Yes, and they're fully cooked. So exactly, exactly. they're identical. Hold on, I want to see they're, those. Hold they're, on, they're fully, they're fully cooked. That is chicken salami. They're fully cooked, and they're, they're little. They're a little like you know. Sorry. That's How many are you gonna oh, they did exactly like Stacy wanted. Yeah, like those are cotton. I use those all the time. Those are Costco ones. They're nice, and they're so, vegetarian. And I, I, I made a lovely broth. They're, they're very similar to vegetarian. Yeah, yeah, they're nice. vegetarian. They're no, these are not. Are they, they chicken? I'm chicken. sorry, they're, my mistake. They're chicken. They're chicken. They're chicken. Oh, oh, that's right. They're not yeah. pork. I knew that. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think it's from from Costco, right? Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay, that is fantastic. Although so mine is going to have. I, I'm trying to decide how many of those I'm going to put in the pot. I've mm -hmm. already got my broth made, and I threw the mushrooms in, and then I, what, I, I'm, I'm not putting any in, in the pot except for what I'm cooking. I put a little bit aside for my husband and I to eat for dinner tonight, but mm -hmm. the rest I'm not going to cook. I'm just going to freeze the broth right. and I'm going to put the things on top uncooked. Because right. I'm, I'm going to, I'm planning on doing that, but okay. and so I've already started laying them out. And I'm using the flat containers this time. Okay, and. Okay. So I'm trying to decide how many per flat. Oh, container. in per, oh, per, yeah, yeah. Um, it says, it's, um, eight, I mean, on the Costco package, it says a eight. serving is eight of them. I and saw so, that. So if you think if, if you think that there's like, you know, two no. servings per container, then then you'd put in 16, you know. It's too many. But it's going to be too big. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. see if I can, I'm, I'm thinking yeah, I'll see. eight or 12. Yeah. 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 The ones I've I, made... If, my, my broth, yeah, my broth has, has, you know, all sorts of stuff in it, mushrooms and bok choy and savoy cabbage and green onions and, you know, so then chicken broth. And so I think there's a lot of stuff in there. It doesn't need a lot of. I was, I was wondering if I should put the spinach in. I don't have any bok choy, but I did put in the mushrooms and I'm thinking about spinach. I don't know. I'm going yeah. to put. I, I think spinach would be nice. Yeah, yeah I think uh, spinach is good. Yeah, it's a good idea. Spinach is good. I'm going to put in the green onions and the cilantro, but yeah, right now they're just sitting in their containers cooling. Mine fell apart when I was boiling them. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's why you needed to put the water you know, around. Make sure uh, the part with water are stick together. Yes. And then one of mine stuck to the bottom of the of the um, pot while it was cooking. <laughs> oh, oh, I think after after it's stuck there, just you know, uh, cook more, and then, then at the end, you know, uh, it is a little bit, you know, so they should be come out. Yes. <laughs> okay. So okay. did I miss something? We started with the green onions and some oil. Then we um, add a little soy sauce and some water. Yes. Okay. So now I'm I'm waiting for for this water to you know uh, boil so we can cook. Yes. Okay. This is this is the water, right, Mom? Yeah. That's the broth. Yes, the broth haven't haven't really you know oil yet. Okay. So, so we didn't regular. put in the chopped cilantro yet. Yeah, no, uh, cilantro will be the last one to put in. Ah, okay. Cilantro doesn't strong. even doesn't even have to cook. Oh, know? okay. Yeah, if you're using cilantro, but if you're using spinach, you know, or other green, you have to cook. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to put some, that's a Japanese, you know, bean base, okay? Oh, can we yeah. see the front of, is it in, does it say it anything in English or no? Yeah, well, well this is the container, yeah, this okay. one. Bean paste? Oh, is that the same oh, thing? Gosh. Yeah, same thing, yeah. But it's a, a small container, yeah. 
Okay. It's getting old. You cannot even see it. <laughs> it's the same. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. You can put any kind of offer wherever you like. Yes. Okay. So the water is going. So I'm going to cook some. Yes. Maybe I should have put more water so you will be able to see how they fry. Huh? After they done, then they should be, you know, uh, broke on the top. Yeah. Okay. So I think we will put more water in. Yes. Okay. My stove, this kind of stove, kind of slow, yeah. Is it still cooking, Mom? It's for the soup, yes. Okay. I add more water, you know, just make sure um, the one time will be able to uh, wrap up so the shoe. Oh, good. Uh, are they done? Yes. And for the one that's the broth, you're just letting the um, oil. Yep. Yeah. Okay. yeah, this is the broth. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. So now this broth too. So we are going to cook this. This is the one, you know, uh, the kids making. Yes. <laughs> they look fantastic. Have the kids yeah, they made them fine. before? Yeah. Stay, they, have your I, grandkids I they, made them before, Stacey, or they just learn now? Uh, they did last week. Ah, oh, that's so fun. They did. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. They are come out pretty good, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they sure did. And now, yeah. do you need to be careful how many you put in at once or not really? They'll still leave uh, each other alone. No, not really. After you put it in, they usually they don't stick together. They don't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then now I wait until, you know, they boil. Then. So you're going to bring it back to a boil? Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. This kind of slow, huh? And what you know what they say about a watched pot of dumpling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. So how's, how's everybody's uh Wang Dong come out? Still making? No, I, I moved over to broth. Anybody still doing um wontons? Terry maybe. Her back is she's over by the stove. Oh, okay. I am not, I'm packaging up my broth. I, I cooked it, you know, just oh, before we. Ah, oh, okay. Just before we got, I mean, as you, you guys were making, since I didn't make dumplings, I, I made broth pretty much as you guys were making dumplings and it's cooled down already enough and I'm packaging oh, okay. up. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So we're going to make it only in like two minutes. Yes. So they should be here. So when you're cooking, you need to uncover, okay? Okay. Because, yeah. See, they already come up, you know? Yep. Move up, yeah, on the, uh, floating on the top, yes. They but look delicate, but they really do stay together, don't they? Yes, they do, yes. Beautiful. Okay. Yes.
but we need to cook only like you know uh, two minutes yes okay What's that? Oh, I'm going to try to get ready. Get some balls so we can. Oh, balls. It. I thought that was a bowl with something in it. No, that's a <laughs> bowl to serve. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Is this, is this done, Mom? Or is it you just keeping it warm or what? Yeah, keep keeping it warm. Yes. Okay. So how long did you cook this? No, that's after they, they boil. It should be okay. So just yeah. boil and then it's done? Right. Oh, they should be done in about here. Yeah. You know, they start after they uh, grow to the top. You know, most of them will be people feel it should be done. But yeah. for me, I have to make sure they cook through everything. Yes, inside. I mean, ah, so Lisa, a little bit more than just till they pop up. Yes, right. Yeah, and I think as somebody was saying before, our labeling has to be really clear on this one because they're not going to be cooked ahead of time. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I put my first tray in the freezer actually because I laid them out on um a cookie uh, tray. I just oh, put good. something in the chat. I just put something in the chat so that you have some you know words to use or oh some fantastic. Thank you. Oh yeah, yes. Okay. Look how good that looks. All right, and you still haven't put the cilantro in. Yeah, I haven't. So or, I or you're gonna put cabbage in too, I think. Oh, what'd you just do? Soy sauce? The sesame, uh, sesame uh, oil. Ah, uh, thank you. See, I don't see. Uh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. I don't see anything in the chat. Me neither. Am I somehow missing it? Is it Sharon's talk? Yeah. Um, I'm using my iPad, which I don't usually use, but let me check and see. I thought I did it. Okay. So now it's all oh, done. It's not yeah. there. I'll do it Beautiful. again. Beautiful. Okay. So let me show you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Faithy, can I get a picture of you standing next to that bowl? That is beautiful. If everybody else wants to come um, closer yes. to the screen, that yeah, would be we, fun. We can, we can put a sound somewhere in the paper in. Yes, okay. Oh, what is that? Uh, I just, no, I just paper. Yes. Regular black pepper. Regular one, yes. Perfect. And uh, some sesame oil. At that time, when you are eating, uh, when you eat Huang Hang or company, you use a lot of sesame oil. Yeah. A lot of sesame oil, okay. okay. Well, it's beautiful. So here we are, yes, okay. Um, Andrew, ah, there we go, that's beautiful, thank you. Yes, okay. Stacy, taste it and tell us. You know what, and you're amazing, it's six o'clock on the dot. Oh, yes. Give Stacy oh, a job and it gets done perfectly. That's amazing. Let me see your okay. face when you try this. Okay. Oh, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, um, I can, we can put it more uh, salt in, but for me, you know, like it's okay. Yeah. 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 That's it's, fantastic. It's yeah. I, so that's know, a way. Yeah. If you don't have brows, you can use it this way. But if you use brows, sometimes brows have. Do you have maybe some kind of salt or something? Yes. Or you just, yes. you no, know, according to your own taste. Yeah. Okay, that is fantastic. Thank you so much for okay. giving us the confidence to try the wontons and to make okay. a very simple but good broth out of water and a couple of ingredients. And it was so fun to do this with you. Thank you and your yes. whole family. Okay. Yeah, thank you to everybody too, to you also, okay, for you participate in this. I hope everybody enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, we, we enjoyed the hour and now we're going to go enjoy our soup. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Yeah. All right. So yeah. long, everyone. Good luck finishing yeah. your soups up. Stacy you. and family. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. And everybody have a happy new year. Yeah. Happy, happy, new, happy new year. year. Bye. Good. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye.